Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson. We've got two more episodes in our Competition as a Masters series. And I want to shift over, Adam, to posing. Uh, we already talked about you know, what it's like for that first time competitor, maybe the comeback competitor, and all the classes and divisions. But for maybe just a couple you know, divisions, or, or you know, even just the difference in the genders and posing, you know, what, what are differences? Are, are, are judges looking for something a little different in the masters or, you know, what would you, what would you say just in general? Yeah. Um, I think especially in bikini, that criteria just has to shift a little bit. When you start getting masters competitors, a lot of times they're going to have, you know, harsher conditioning just because, uh, there's less collagen to uh, really make the skin kind of thick, so to speak. So you're going to see girls come in with harder glutes, um, maybe even more muscle maturity. So I always find Masters Bikini can be where a lot of people think, oh, they re went really hard at this show and really soft here. Well, it's because when you compare a lot of Masters competitors, they are going to be harder. And I think, um, you know, Posing in a manner that accentuates your physique the best is going to be key. Um, you might see some women who have had kids and uh, maybe showing more of a side pose for their front pose. If they have a little more distension in the stomach, might not be the best front pose for them. So they could go back to the standard uh, drop hip pose where it just elongates the torso a little more and keeps their abdominal wall a little bit tighter. So there's a lot of different reasons in bikini I might have people pose differently versus, you know, wear figure, you're kind of locked into doing quarter turns and standing front side, back side. <clears throat> and, you know, we've talked a little bit of, throughout this series that sometimes it's not even about your age. Uh, you know, some, some people younger can deal with, with similar issues, but um, you know, posing sometimes if you're a little bit older and maybe you, you lack a little bit of flexibility, you know, that, that may be something you need to work on. You know, maybe you get some manual stretching or you get a stretching program or you do something because the last thing I would want, and I've seen this happen, is somebody, you know, trying to hit a pose too aggressively like a side tricep for, for men's bodybuilding and, you know, injure their shoulder or something like that. Or, you know, they're, they're overarching, hyperextending their low back and, and they just are, are getting kind of locked up. So the one thing I would say in posing too, and again, tr trying not to make, you know, ageism a factor, but I think there's naturally a unique opportunity for people in master's categories to really just kind of show more confidence and, and kind of an elegance or a stateliness versus, you know, a 20 year old. I think, I think if, if you want to just stereotype personalities a little bit, you know, you've got the younger crowd that can come out with, with all the energy and all the bubbly personality. And, and maybe that works for you when you're 60, but I think, I think you can bring a whole different personality to the stage and really have an advantage over some other people. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, bringing that into stage presence can just really bring an attractiveness to um, your look and draw people's eyes. When you have 30 people in class, that can be a big difference on getting you a first call out or not. Yeah, and I think that's, this is where we can, we can kind of throw in some more aesthetic information in here. Uh, for example, I, I was at, um, I think it was NPC Nationals this summer, and there's a particular model, uh, or he may even be an actor. I think he's a model, though. Who this guy has this, you know, perfectly white, like hipster beard and a great, you know, you know, head of hair. And yet he's an older guy. You can tell he's probably 70 years old, tan, thin, good shape. And so it's startling to see him in a TV commercial. Well, there was a guy who looked just like that on stage. And um, you know, when you bring that kind of look with a physique that's incredible. You know, you're, you're at the NPC Masters Nationals. Like I said, there's just something that says, whoa, that guy or that, that girl really stands out because of how they present that. They're almost owning the age. You know, yeah, I'm a Masters competitor and I'm fucking owning it. Like, you know, I've, you, you, nobody could look this good at this age. And I think that's, that's kind of what I'm saying here. Absolutely. And, you know, we've got to think this is a professional league. And this is what we want representing the league. And I think that's really important to know 
that, uh, you know, everything falls into that. Absolutely. All right, guys, so we're going to wrap this up next episode. We're going to talk about some of the things that can happen hormonally, uh, maybe some other medical conditions to consider. But uh, stay tuned for that final episode, and we will catch you then.